it's on record? It's on record. The red button's on the top? Yeah, it's on the top. I can see it. Alright. Hey guys, welcome to my back check. I'm going to show you guys what a serious soccer player, footballer, futsaler, freestyler should have in their bag. Alright, let's get to it. Alright. Uh, first of all, this bag here, it's waterproof. You can see in the bottom, like it's different. It's not like a normal material. So, it's Waterproof good. bag. <laughs> All right, a ghost just said something. <laughs> so, uh, if you put it on a wet field, it's not going to get your stuff inside wet. But overall, it only costs like $40. It's totally worth investment. First thing you need to have in your bag is a ball. You're not a real player unless you have a ball with you. I can't tell you how many players I see, they come to the field and they don't have a ball. Uh, next step. Uh, I always like to carry an extra pair of cleats with me. Oh, an extra pair of cleats. Because you never know when you're going to forget one or one breaks. So you don't want to be caught in a bad situation. Uh, have some cones so you can practice on your own. Make up whatever drills you want to do. Um, as you can see, I have a bunch of stuff in here. I have my shin guards. I have, uh, let's see, is it here? Empty water bottle. Yeah. Bring your own full water bottle, but carry in your bag an empty one. In case you finish, you can always take your water bottle to a water fountain and fill it up. Uh, I bring a hat if it's like a really, really hot day like today and you're not playing and you're just hanging around or the coach is screaming at you. You gotta have some swag. Might as well have some hat swag, you know? Your coach, your coach takes you more serious, you know? If you talk to him with a hat on, he might give you the captain's armband. Alright, I have an extra pair of shin guards just in case. You never know. Might as well have double of everything. One might break. I have tennis balls, so I can practice juggling with a tennis ball sometimes. It helps my touch. Um, I have an ankle brace in case you get stepped on, mess up your ankle. You're good to go. Same thing with the knee. Take a knock to the knee. Keep going. I showed the sunscreen, right? The sun? No. no, no. Oh, yeah. It's a hot day. Like, I already put my sunscreen on. It's for sport, so when you sweat, it's not going to come off. Um, this thing is really good. This is a uh, weight resistance for your uh, for your legs. So you strap this around your leg, put them on both. You can do activities either to warm up before a game. You can even run around and do normal things like butt kicks or knee ups, and it's going to give you resistance, so you get a really good stretch. Uh, extra pair of socks, you never know. It's good to have one white, one black, because you don't know what the team's going to have that day. Uh, this one I really recommend. It's called uh, I want there? one of those. Can it's I have it? It's called the Tiger Tail. Buy your own. If you get one of these, you have to be careful. All your friends will be taking it all the time. Yeah, I'm, I'm about keep to take eye, it. <laughs> keep your eye on this thing. And this is the, this is probably the coolest thing in my bag. Oh, wonderful. Every time before I play, I'm out here rolling my muscles and answering questions. People are like, what are you doing? Uh, well, <laughs> this is the 21st century way of stretching. I don't even have to stretch. I just roll my muscles out. And it's so good if your muscles are tight. You can do it even if your neck is tight, if your back is tight, anything you want with this. All the pros do it. Yep. Uh, I have here another band. If you're, uh, This is like if your shin hurts, tie that on there. Um, what else do we have here? I have another ankle bracelet, different size. The other one is tighter than this one. If it's just a little minor one, you can put this one on. Um, what else? Of course, two ankle bracelets, right? Yeah, other ones here. Always be prepared. What if, but what if some crazy, you know, Japanese karate master is out there playing and slide tackles both your feet? You gotta be prepared. Um, what else do we have? That's enough for this pocket. Two other pockets left. This one here is like the medical pocket. Uh, I do have the tapes. Like, if you want to have some more wrist swag, you know, Ronaldo oh, yeah, Neymar style, you gotta have both colors. Uh, what else? You gotta have a pen because when you're playing, you're always signing waivers. Oh you're, yeah, you're signing doing, the autographs. Signing autographs, you gotta have that. I have a muscle cream. If you tear your muscle or you sprain it really bad, just put some muscle cream on it. Keep going. Uh, I had this one. It's like a medical tape. So when you put a bandage on, this will keep it on even without playing. So here, like I have a bandage on. By itself, it might not stay even if it's raining, but this one will always keep it on. I have uh, Neosporin. If you get a cut, this will, uh, it's antibacterial, so oh, yeah. you won't get an infection. 
Uh, of course, I have my business card. Uh, yes. Let the me coolest thing about being a coach or like a private soccer coach, you can go out to play for fun and you see some kid and their parent and you just give them a business card and you just, you just earned a client just by going out there. There's not many professions that can do that. You just go to the field, do what you love to do, and then you find a client to pay your living. I mean, it's almost unrealistic, but it, it's possible. Uh, scissor, in case I need to cut anything, <laughs> even with the bandages or... In case any players that you don't like are on the yeah, field. Yeah, in case there's, I have to defend myself. You know, some players have bad temper or your shorts get like a little uh, seam come off, you can cut that. I think that's about like all the important stuff in here. Uh, yeah. I think, yeah. I think we went through that. All right, next one, front pocket here. I have in here, this is like a brace for my wrist. If you sprain your wrist, you can tie your wrist around here. Of course, you gotta have a ball pump. Oh, yes. Very important. Because then you could even have a, you could find a flat ball in the bushes and you can give it life again. Uh, if your coach gives you any plays, always have them here so you can go through them so you, you know what to study before the game. Uh, I have also like, I bought these, they're used now, but these used to be ball uh, extra needles. These needles, I swear, they're like the most flimsy things in the world. They will break all the time, so it's good to have a couple spare sets of them. Here's what it looks like. You buy those, just like 50 cents, you get a couple yeah. extra needles. Uh, what else? This one. Have a bag of like nuts or pistachios to keep you filled so uh -huh. you don't have to go home and eat every 10 minutes like some guys do. Like me. Always crying they're hungry. Huh? Oh, and then they want to eat your pistachios, you know? <laughs> Ain't nobody got time for that. That's all in this pocket here. All right, here we go. This is the wardrobe pocket. Uh, swimsuit, after you win your game, go hang out with the girls poolside. Oh, uh, yeah, Best yeah. relaxment you can get. Uh, I try to have like a jersey of all different colors because sometimes I go pick up with other teams. I don't want to uh, be lost that I don't have the right color. So I try to bring as many different ones. Mm -hmm. If you don't want to bring shirts, you can bring uh, like just bibs. You can have a bib of each the color. Penny. Uh, so I have a couple different shirts. Is that a book here. cover? What? What is that? This one? No, 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 the, the, this thing. This one? Yeah. Oh, this one, if it's cold weather. You'll see like a lot of the players, like Rooney and Nasri, they wear these ones while they oh, play. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's really yeah. cool. And sometimes if you need to rob a bank as well, you just <laughs> put that extra money while you're traveling. Just don't rob banks. All right, and of course you have to have the captain's armband because what bag would be complete, you know, without it. You know? Right. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the bag check and you learned a thing or two. Uh, some people say like, why do you have all this stuff in your bag? But it's awesome. I can travel anywhere. I can go to a tryout in any country in the world. And it's like I have my own store, my own store with me. I'm never unprepared. Anything happens, just go to my bag and I have it. It's kind of unrealistic to get all this stuff, you know, in one shot, in one day. But buy a little bit uh, piece by piece. I bought the bag, then I bought, bought the stick, and then I bought this. And after a, a year, maybe you'll have a complete bag like mine. So uh, we'll sign off with that. Good luck, guys. And uh, like the video if this helped you at all. Peace.